Hello everyone, so today's video is going to be a room slash rig update video uh, and just a thank you video for hitting 250,000 subscribers. It's kind of it's kind of unreal that we hit a quarter mil and I'm just so thankful that you guys are so supportive uh, and just a big thanks to all my subs and everyone that's watching and sharing the videos, liking, leaving comments. Um, that's awesome. Uh, so yeah, let's get straight into it without any more talking. Uh, I guess we'll start in this corner of the room. This is kind of like my collection cabinet thing. Um, we've got a couple collect collector's editions of some games, Modern Warfare 2, uh, Dusty Old NVGs, which is awesome, um, the Star Wars Old Republic stuff, Halo 3, Master Chief, uh, 100k subscriber plaque with the Halo Xbox that got red ringed, um, the Pacific, Band of Brothers, StarCraft 2, uh, Game of Thrones collection that needs to get filled out, and then Mass Effect. So these are like my favorite games of all time, pretty much. Um, with the exception of The Old Republic, which was a complete and total letdown. Uh, but yeah, these, these are some of my favorite games to have played, uh, and that's why I got all this crap. I also have a couple badges from old um, conventions and stuff like that. Uh, E3, uh, what else? Uh, BlizzCon, stuff like that. Moving on to the left, we have kind of my everyday carry stuff. Uh, this is my helmet for my uh, motorcycle. I ride a Ninja 400. Got my gloves here as well, and then just a like dump tray. Uh, this AirPods, you should know what these are. Uh, yeah, I have an iPhone, so that's why I use AirPods. Uh, now, Ridge isn't sponsoring this video, but I have to give them a shout out because they sent me this wallet and this knife, and these things are awesome. Like I've been using this ever since they've given it to me, and you can just tell how small it is. Carries my cash, carries all the cards I need, um, and it just it's great because I don't end up putting crap in my wallet, uh, which is what used to happen on my old. Um, big old leather one. So really cool stuff. If you're looking for a new wallet or something like that, check out the Ridge. Uh, Sharpie, garbage, uh, some watches, my keys. Oh, this is the Send It keychain that you get for being a general on my channel. If you're interested in getting this and the Karma Cut 2x3 patch, check out that, check out that blue join button down below. Uh, some cool real world rewards for doing that. Um, Below that, this is new to the room. It's a mini fridge. It's out of water right now, but I don't know. I kind of feel like every streamer and you know content creator has one of these <laughs> just because we spend so much time in our rooms. Um, so I got one just because I thought it'd be cool and I, I love it. <laughs> I'm extremely lazy now because I have to go all the way to the kitchen and get water, um, but it's, it's made my life a lot easier. So really cool stuff. Now to the left of that, uh, we have our PTS Centurion Arms CM4 which is an awesome Airsoft ERG. And yeah, let me just make sure I don't pull out all these wires. Uh, <clears throat> so I'll walk you through what's, what's on here. So it comes with the rail, comes with the irons. Uh, it's a great ERG. I've had a lot of fun just uh, getting the zero, just playing with it um, and having Spartan walk me through like general rifle basics, all that stuff. Uh, if you don't know who Spartan is, PTS Spartan 117 GW is an awesome dude. I'll leave a link down to his channel below. Uh, he's been showing me a whole bunch of airsoft stuff and we're going to be playing this weekend. So hopefully we have some airsoft footage for you guys, but definitely check out Spartan. He's been a huge help getting me set up to make, uh, airsoft videos. Uh, but anyways, we're rocking a vertical grip up front. This is just like a Bushnell budget red dot. Uh, and then a Haley strategic, uh, sling. So that's pretty much all that's done on this right now. Um, uh, but I'm sure we'll get crazier into airsoft stuff later on so let me put this back for now just make sure it doesn't fall okay <clears throat> now moving on nightstand fan you don't care about that um flag <laughs> uh some blizzcon posters from when i was when i when i went to blizzcon uh, in 2011 uh really excited for wild classic so that'll be a lot of fun and then uh we've got my main kind of area where i'm at most of the time so I guess we'll start top to bottom, just work our way down the uh, desk. So at the top here, we have some Battlestar Galactica board games. These are out of print, so it's like a collector's thing. Uh, I don't know, huge nerd about sci-fi stuff, so <laughs> that's just something I have. Uh, then we have some more Airsoft stuff, a couple hats, Ear Pro, and my uh, helmet. You can see the GoPro mount is all up there already, and then the face uh, mask. This thing is just a Wi-Fi thing for my uh, rig. Uh, and then we've got all my camera and laptop stuff for the most part. So we've got a camera and two GoPros up here, uh, just getting things set. 
Uh, down here we have some nerdy stuff. This is like a card game. This is uh, the Game of Thrones card game that I used to play. Uh, a lot of fun. Um, I'm a huge nerd, so card games, board games, video games, all into that kind of stuff. Uh, got some basic like extra keyboards, notepads and stuff, administrative stuff. And then down here we've got some more books, got some more cards, and then the Star Wars, it's like Star Wars D&D. It's really nerdy, uh, but I love it. Um, haven't played in a while, but it's a lot of fun. Then we have some VR stuff uh, that kind of glazed over. This is the Rift, these are the Rift S controllers. Uh, this is the mod mic that I use. Um, the headphones that I use, just standard like in-ear headphones. And then this is the Rift S. So the Rift S is really cool because it's plug and play. You just pop it into uh, your rig, your graphics card, and that's it. You don't have to set up any cameras or anything. So it's awesome. Really have enjoyed using it. Haven't had any problems uh, like with the sensors or anything because there's no sensors, it's just using the cameras. It's been tracking everything pretty accurately, so pretty good. Uh, so huge thanks to Onward for sponsoring that and giving that to me because I've been dying to play VR and they hooked me up. So huge thanks to Onward. Um, this is the Pro 2 VR uh, rifle stock. Uh, I still have yet to get it set up properly, but I got working a little bit and it's it changes using a rifle in VR so much. It's so much easier to aim with this thing. And uh, Onward once again hooked me up with this. So huge thanks to Onward and Pro 2 VR for setting me up with those products. Um, we've got the rig here, which will come back to, we'll just do it now. Uh, so this is the new rig. Uh, she's in a full tower. This is the Corsair 750D case. Uh, I've got the H100i water cooled set up in there. That's why it's glowing. Um, it's using a Tai Chi F X570 motherboard with a Ryzen 9 3900X. We've got 64 gigs of RAM, cause I could, uh, at 3200. Um, then we've got our 20 ATI Aurorus uh, GPU. So that's, that's that was a big boy. Um, then we're just running an M.2 SSD and another 2.5 SSD. So good storage, fast storage, not too much though. Uh, and then uh, running an 850 watt PSU just cause I could. <laughs> Moving over here, we have uh, Game of Thrones, like, collector's edition books. Uh, these are really nice. They're just, like, leather-bound and everything. They feel real good. Um, whiskey set and sake uh, glasses. And then this is really funny. I, I love this. Uh, I drink and I know things from Game of Thrones. Um, really fun. Uh, but, yeah, that's everything there. Then I got my clothes and my dresser. Um, then I have my airsoft rig here. So this is the Haley uh, Strategic Micro chest rig with the flat pack attached. So it's, I love it because it's really light. I don't know if I'll ever, I'm sure I will eventually upgrade to a plate carrier, but I just want something light, something easy to use uh, that wasn't gonna be like clunky and all over the place. And the micro is perfect, the flat pack is perfect. Um, it's just awesome. So got that stuff. Moving over here behind the monitors, just got some tools, uh, Allen keys and stuff, my iPro, uh, and then my mags, my extra mags back there. Uh, charging, a whole bunch of charging cables. So that's all nice and ugly. Uh, and yeah, let's get to the main attraction here, which is like where I actually sit down in game. So first off, I'm using a GT Racer chair, which is nice. We upgraded from that old $50 gaming chair. Uh, that YouTuber money. Uh, but yeah, so first thing I want to note is a really cool thing that we got here is the new uh, BenQ screen bar. Now this is like a, a lamp that attaches to the top of your monitor and it's amazing because you can like completely control like not only the warmth, like if it's, if you want to be cool light or warm light, um, but you can also control like the brightness, everything you want to control about this thing, you can. But if you're too lazy, you can just hit the auto button and it'll do it for you. <laughs> so this is thing this thing has been great to like, as I'm like taking down notes or writing or messing with my cards or whatever I'm doing, uh, I can just not get headaches because the other normal lamp I have back here is hidden by the monitor. So this thing is a complete light lifesaver. So huge thanks to BenQ for sending me that. Totally suggest you pick it, uh, you picking one up if you do a lot of desk work uh, and not just screen work because it's really been a help for my eyes and just headaches. Uh, it's been great. My computer fell asleep. Uh, so what else you might have noticed was new is the monitor, which is an Asus uh, Predator. 
It's got the, it's the 2K monitor with IPS panel and 144 hertz, so really good stuff here. This is the main reason why I had to upgrade my rig, because going from 1080 to 2K was really demanding on my old system, so I had to go to the new system. Uh, and then of course we have my secondary monitor, which is my old uh, VG248QE from ASUS. I uh, got a stream deck here set up, mainly for work stuff. Uh, launches the games, tells me my CPU um, percentage, and then launches all the editing programs and stuff that I use. Uh, what else do I have here? Oh, I just got this. This is my Razer Blade Stealth 13-inch um, with the MX150. Uh, I got this because I'm going to be traveling a lot this year for work, which is different from last year. We didn't really travel that much, so I need something that I can do basic things on when I travel. So really excited to use this. Uh, yeah, that'll be a good thing. Um, what else is new? Uh, got a new screen, uh, not a screen, a, uh, what do they call those? Um, pop filter. Pop filter for my uh, Blue Yeti Blackout. I've been using this thing for so long. I don't know if I should upgrade, but hey, if it isn't broke, don't fix it, right? Like, this thing is pretty solid. I also added a shock mount on there. That's why you don't hear the keyboard as much. So, mic upgrade is slightly upgraded. Um, yeah, mic, mic setup is slightly upgraded, but uh, yeah, it's been pretty stable. I don't really like fucking around with my audio because that's just one of the things I hate like trying to get perfect. Uh, and then, let's see in here, we're still using the Squad Ops key colored uh, Cooler Master Nova Touch TKL. It's one of my favorite keyboards. It's using Topper switches, but with Cherry MX uh, adapters, so you can actually put um, keycaps on those. So or Cherry MX keycaps. So once again, nerding out a whole bunch on the keyboard. Um, and then I, this was a huge upgrade. This is the Logitech G Pro Wireless. This thing is so light. It's got great battery life, and it feels so good uh, compared to the M uh, 65 that I used to have. This thing is just a dream. Um, this thing is, I highly recommend one of these. Uh, you don't feel latency at all. Like wireless technology has come such a long way. The battery uh, life is great and it's just so light and it feels so good. So highly recommend picking one of these up. And then it's on my Razer Firefly mouse pad that I never plug in because honestly, I'm not all about that R RGB life. I don't like things getting too bright. Just, I don't, I don't like it. Um, Razer soundbar, that's so old. I can't even remember the name. But that's pretty much it. That's that's everything in my room pretty much so far. Uh, things have been upgraded, things have been removed and added. Uh, but yeah, it's been quite a journey just upgrading everything, getting it where it needs to be. Uh, I'm thinking about, I don't even know what I want to do next. Uh, I think it's pretty good for the short term. But yeah, just a heads up before we close this video out guys, because I almost forgot uh, we got to do that Humble Bundle shout out. So Humble Bundle is giving out Squad for 12 bucks with Slay the Spire. Right now you can get Squad for 12 bucks, Lowest it's ever been and you get Slay the Spire and you get a whole bunch of games in September. I highly recommend you get it. You don't have to continue the, the subscription. You just paid the once and then you cancel and you keep all the games. Links down below. Pick up Squad, 12 bucks. Best time to get it, um, especially with helicopters right around the corner. Uh, but that's it. I can't think of anyone else that I need to shout out. Once again, thanks to PTS uh, Spartan117GW for hooking me up with the discount on the CM4. Thank you so much to Ben Q for setting me up with the screen bar. This thing has been great for work. Uh, thank you so much to Onward for sending me the VR set and the Pro 2 v uh, VR stock. That's been awesome. Yeah, it's just been it's been, it's just been great. Uh, the growth of the channel, like it's completely different. Like this is turning into an actual thing. Like before it was kind of like a hobby, and now it's like this is real. <laughs> but anyways, that's all I got for you guys. Thanks so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one.